What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and this video is going to be something a little bit different. I've been thinking a lot about the channel and just everything that's been going on lately. Now many of you already know I've been really busy the last month or so with the start of classes. And also there's been a lot of different releases in the game, everything from Chapter 9 to a preseason and spec up. So I've been scrambling to cover all of that. So while all that's important and it's not only something I want to do, it's something I need to do, I also miss many things that kind of made this channel different. Basically, I really enjoyed making series. And while I may have gone too far on how many series I made, I still think it was an important part of this channel. Now before I begin with all of this, there's two things I should point out. First of all, in the background, you're watching some PvP footage of a team I've been using recently. So within the last season or two, it's one of a few go-to teams that I use on offense. So I figured I'd show you all that in action and I'll give you the setup for it at the end as well. Secondly, before I start all this talk about what I plan to do, I do want to point out that I know it's ambitious. And at times I get really ambitious and then things don't go exactly how I say I want them to. This isn't a lack of commitment or anything like that. I hope that you all know that. I really do try and sometimes things come up or it slips my mind and I don't always deliver everything. Another problem comes when I promise too much and at times it's just because I really don't want to say no. But here's the thing, I do have big plans for this channel even though we've already reached heights I never could have expected, I would love to go even higher. Now to do this and still please everyone, it's going to be tough, probably impossible, but of course I'm going to try. Marvel Avengers Alliance videos are going to come pretty much every day, at least Monday through Friday. That's what this channel's about, that's what the majority of this talk is about, and so that's something you don't have to worry about. There are other things that I want to do as well, but if I absolutely can, I'll try to have two different videos on those days. So say I play a new game, or I play Marvel Heroes, I will also try my best to have a Marvel Avengers Alliance video to go with it. That's not always going to be possible due to time, but I will do my best. When I can, I'd like to do something special on the weekends, but that's going to be a topic for another time. The main reason that I even wanted to make this video was I wanted to talk about old series and their comeback. Some of this is new and some of this I've said before, but very soon I'm going to relaunch the Adamantium process and Team Spotlight. So for my first series, The Adamantium Process, we're going to start back at Episode 1. The premise of the series is going to remain the same. It's to try to help others advance to the Adamantium League. But instead of just showing teams and setups and doing the same old thing, we're going to cover all sorts of PvP topics. So we'll still make strong teams, excellent setups, but we'll also cover things like the best offensive teams, as well as, wait for it, the best defensive teams. We'll have PvP discussions, gameplay, matches, just everything you can imagine to help you make it to the Adamantium League. I'll even include a tip from one of you every single episode. So if you have a big PvP tip you want to share, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section and you can make it into episode 1. Then for Team Spotlight, it's getting relaunched as well. And we're going to change things up a bit for it. Instead of only focusing on a theme, we're going to choose a single team and focus on it for the entire episode. Having a theme will be a bonus, but we're just going to make sure they have an awesome name and that they work well together. Oh, and one more thing. Not always, but sometimes, I'm going to choose a team that one of you may have given me. I get suggestions for teams very often, and many times they have amazing names and are just a great team overall. So every once in a while I'll choose one of these and we'll feature it in its special Team Spotlight. Now originally Team Spotlight also featured some PvE footage and so we're also going to go back to that. I'm thinking we'll try them out in a boss battle in the simulator to really get a feel for them in PvE and then we'll take them into two or three PvP matches after that. So that's going to be Team Spotlight which will relaunch starting over again at Episode 1. Other than that, of course we're going to keep Poor Man's PvP going, weekly All Hell the King episodes, and a few other series as well. Alright, well I feel much better after sharing all that with you. 
and I hope that you're excited and that you continue watching. As for this video, I really hate to only leave you with two matches, so we're going to do one more, and I'll provide commentary. Then, like I said, I will show you the setup. The last battle that we were given was against a somewhat weaker opponent, but it really shows how amazing Red Hulk is, and the strengths of this team. After using Bulwark to begin the match, we then go with a Gamma Bomb, and it causes a Mandible Counter. One of the worst things that can happen against Red Hulk. So right away the enemy agents knock down to half health. After that, Wonder Man misses his attack, and he's below 50% after my agent hits him, due to Ares' passive. Yeah, pretty much the enemies kill themselves. Then with Ares we can use his personal war as a quick action, and Modern Warfare applies AoE Despair, so they can no longer heal. Honestly, that ability is a big reason to use him, and of course because of his level 9 as well. It removes buffs and stuns. So Ares is a beast, but I'll be honest, the main reason I put him on my team, at least at first, was to gain him XP. Then after using them, I just realized, hey, this works. Now as you saw, with my agent and the fire tornado, we also trigger Pyrophoric. Then with our actual attack, we'll use the Hexen Jaeger, and Wonder Man is knocked out. The agent falls to dots, and then on Red Hulk's second turn, being a level 15 tactician, means that he'll gain an extra turn. So basically we get up to two bunker busters if needed. And in this case it does look like it's needed. So there you have it, one of the attack teams I've been using for the past two to three seasons, including the preseason. Nurkod and Iron Fist is another favorite of mine. And they're both at level 15 so that helps. But as far as my setup, on Red Hulk we have the quick and powered ISO 8, and his ISO 8 that gives him cool under pressure. Meltdown only damages enemies, and Meltdown no longer stuns Red Hulk. For now, I found this to be my favorite combo. Then, on my agent, we're using the Bruiser Special E ISO, and that grants him Praetorian Guard. On Ares, we have his Desperate E ISO, which causes his attacks to gain Desperation Attack. And then I think we just threw Relentless on him. He's kind of the third wheel. Then, for the agent's equipment, we're using the Weather Control Device. The Hexen Jaeger. Then we have the Raft Shank, the Hugen's Eye, and the Synthetic Cube. And that's it. That's also going to be it for this video. So I want to thank everyone for watching and ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck and take care.